So there will be lots of young girls watching your age and younger who think that moment, that initial moment when you were walking through the streets of Paris and you were just picked and plucked and sent into this incredible world, it's what they dream of. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And actually, I never dreamed of it, but it happened just like that. So you, you literally have the scout director uh, walking in the street and who told me you are the next Claudia Schiffer and you're going to, to become a star, you know, and it happened that way. And they are really clever, you know, because they scout you when you are 15, 16, 17. So, of course, it's easy to manipulate you after that. But you dream of it because you actually don't know how it is. And that's why I wanted to tell the truth about this world in my book. When did it? Sorry. You, you, you've actually said, uh, Victoire, that you'd wish you'd had been able to read a book like this mm -hmm. before you became a model, because if you had, you probably wouldn't have signed that first contract with the model agency and wouldn't have immersed yourself in the world. Yeah, definitely, you know, because from the outside you think it's all beautiful, you're going to earn a lot of money, you're going to travel all around the world and, and become like one of the most beautiful uh, women on the planet. Mm. But actually you are really mistreated, you can't eat at all. And I felt into anorexia because of this world. So what do you mean? When, when was the moment turn when you, when you felt you couldn't eat? Were people literally saying, you're too big even though you were tiny or were they taking food away for you how did it sort of happen well it is really vicious actually because they never tell you you have to lose weight but when I had my first meeting with my agency um, they told me you are a size six which is like not big you know but mm. you have to be a size zero they take your measurements and actually around the hips um, I had to be like 34 uh, so I had to lose like two stones um, in two months so which Golly. like don't do that uh, but I had to do it to fit into the clothes literally uh, and Victoire as you read the book the obsession that you have with your weight and maintaining your weight mm. is is laid out in graphic detail what you go through to try and achieve that and the backdrop is your parents watching you disappear watching their beautiful daughter become somebody that they don't recognize yeah. how difficult was that for them and when you look back now and think what you put your body through I think it was awful for my parents and I wanted to write this for them too, you know, because they felt really powerless and they are amazing parents, of course, but, um, you know, I, I used ways to lose weight that they couldn't, like, see, obviously, and it's a trick with anorexia, it's a really hard disease to find out, mm. so I think it's really hard for parents and we had no communication anymore, you know, because I saw myself in the mirror, I, I thought I was fat, whereas I was so skinny and I was going to die. So when my mom one day saw me in the bathroom and she was like, you are literally going to die. And I saw my f myself fat and I, so we, could, we couldn't talk mm. anymore. You should describe here, sorry Kate, but you describe a phone call that you heard, hear her making to your father mm. and she's described you eating some chicken yeah. on the floor and she describes you as a feral child because you hadn't eaten anything and then you're just voraciously devouring yes. this chicken. Um, I think the, there's a huge concern, isn't there, that this is a very attractive and desirable trade and profession for young girls. But do you think the fashion industry is doing enough to protect young girls? Because you were not protected in any way and pressure was put on you all the way through to be a certain size and to be smaller than the size. They definitely don't, you know, because they ask you when you are 5'10 to be a size zero. So they ask you to be so skinny. Mm. And my um, problem today and what I want to say through this book is that we have to change it because it really is like health issue in today's society because they mistreat girls who are models today. But the trouble is it, uh, that young girls in today's society actually identify themselves to, model, mm. to models. And that is the issue today, you know, because it does increase eating disorders and anorexia in today's society. And we have to change it. I mean, I don't want girls... How how do we change it, though, Victoire? Because France has made a lot of progress. I, I mean, know. they've passed laws, haven't yeah. they, saying... It's not applied, though, but... <laughs> Sorry? It's not applied, I mean... It's oh, not I being see, applied no. by, the, by the fashion labels. So I think it doesn't have to go through the law. It's about, like, people changing their mentalities, really. And I think, actually, we should ask designers to, um, to, to change it, you know, to be, like, uh, to ask models to be size 10, for example, if they want them to be, like, 5'10". I think it would be good that models are all above eight, 18 you know because of course when you are 15 16 of course you are skinny you know you don't mm. have like your women's curves mm. and I think that after that you know it's all like th spread 
in like uh, in the magazines and all that so it's about women today like all of us to be we don't want to identify ourselves to this kind of image so we don't want to like buy them or we mm. don't want to look yeah. like that so it, it's about like thinking of it you know and it, we have to be Real aware times. of that mm. uh, you look very well now though and life has changed you're living in london now and 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 you're healthy and you've you've turned your back on the fashion industry would you ever be tempted to to delve in there anyway Not so. No, I'm an actress now, and I'm happy to, to talk, you know, and uh, and to have parts, and it's much more interesting, I yeah. think. Well, look, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed reading the book. I'm still gripped to it, and and um, I kind of recommend it as well. You know, there's you. lots of advice for young people if yeah, you're interested in doing absolutely. it. Absolutely. Certainly going absolutely. with your eyes open, Victoire. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>